A new partnership for Shiba Inu just hit the wire. Will it have an effect on the price of Shiba Inu? Plus, we're only less than eight days before Bitcoin halving. What has happened in the past and what can we anticipate for the future? All I ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile. Smishity smash that like button and let's do the Shiba Shake. <laughs> So currently the price of Shiba Inu is at 0.402764. The price of Shiba Inu continues to be, let's not beat around the bush, pretty boring in the past few days, right? We haven't seen much action, but it's not just Shiba Inu. It's all across the crypto board. Right? You can see that although there you know, is a little bit of movement here in the graph, Bitcoin has been stuck around the 70,000 range um and in general if you look right around the, the the numbers here it's a little bit you know half a percent one percent right that's not what crypto investors want crypto investors want the fast and the furious they want <laughs> they want the action right we are action junkies right we are you could say you're addicted to the prices going up and down a little bit right that's what the crypto market will give people right that that craziness uh, and i'll talk about that in just a second what people already are writing in the comment section but we are only seven days and 17 hours give or take right because it's a less uh, about a thousand blocks still need to be uh, mined the crypto fear is pretty greedy, right? It's pretty, it's, it's extreme greed. Although, you know, people are kind of like, well, like poking with, with a stick. When is, when is things going to start happening, right? <laughs> well, we're not, now we're happening is, um, you know, the, the, the mid, right? We're in the mid here, right? And listen, we are now in the reaccumulation phase, right? As is historically the case bitcoin is developing a clear reaccumulation range going into the halving this is the range where bitcoin would likely break out from weeks after the halving right so this you can see this red zone here is usually where bitcoin and the crypto market reaccumulate and if you remember right we have the the first phase which was the pre 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 having retrace that i think is already over right we talked about that OK, um, when we're only seven days out, that it usually happens a, 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 a few weeks before. Now we're in the reaccumulation phase. phase. Now that the pre-halving retrace has occurred, it has set up the very foundation of the reaccumulation range. This range, right, develops a few weeks before the halving and concludes with the breakout a, a few weeks after. The goal now is for Bitcoin to move sideways going into the halving and beyond. Right. So this is exactly what's happening. We're moving sideways. The reaccumulation phase can last up to multiple weeks, even up to 150 days. That's happened before five months. That's that's a scenario that happened uh, in 2020, right? Many investors get shaken out in this stage due to boredom, impatience, and disappointment with lack of major results in their in their Bitcoin investment and general crypto investments uh, in the intermediate immediate aftermath of the having. I saw a comment from the video last night. Someone said. Your titles are recently are making me bored with the crypto market. Now listen, my titles are making you bored. <laughs> there might, it, you know, that's not the problem with my titles, right? No, the market is boring right now, right? It, this is how it is. This is the phase, right? Um, and people that are new, they, they're like, uh, well, people promised me fireworks, right? A few weeks ago, there was fireworks. Where are the fireworks? I thought all the time you have fireworks, right? This is not how it is. If you want to get right to the phase here that's coming out of my ear, right? <laughs> you need to uh, I'll move myself a little bit to the side. This this phase here, right? You need to first endure the the sideways the sideways phase, right? To get to here, we need to endure this, right? This is just how it's historically been. Now, of course, this cycle has been a little bit different because we have seen a, a new all time high for Bitcoin. Uh, you know prior to having so you know maybe things are different but we're seeing that this phase more or less has been the same uh, so some things are different some things are the, the same and it's important to remember um 
I I understand that people are kind of checking out right right now. There's still always opportunities to make money uh, in a uh, market like this. Listen, you can always open a leverage position, and if you're leveraging your your assets, right, and let's say Bitcoin or Shiba Inu, they move one percent, and you're ten xing, so it's like ten percent. So theoretically, in a boring market, you can use leverage as a tool to be less boring. But if the market suddenly kicks off and you're not prepared for that and you don't have a stop loss or things like, you know, uh, tools uh, that can help you, then you can get liquidated very fast. So yes, leverage is a tool to make a lot of money, but you could also lose a lot of money. Link is in the description down below. Check it out if you're interested. See if it's available in your country. No KYC. You get $50 once you sign up using my link and another $50 once you sign uh, deposit $100. That will go to commissions and you'll get an extra 20% kicker once you use my link on your deposits. So check it out in the description down below. Please trade responsibly. I'll get a little commission, so thank you for that. I think I might be a little bit stuck, but uh, we'll deal with that, right? You only want to see my beautiful face and hear my beautiful voice. It doesn't have to be together. <laughs> so Shiba Inu joins CDSA to bring new blockchain solution to media and entertainment. So there's a new uh, partnership here for Shiba Inu. SHIB uh, decided to partner with uh, content distribution and security associations. This is basically a partnership that the, you could call it Shibarium team or Shiba Inu team, however you want to call it. Uh, as an, another thing for the ecosystem, right? Um, the, collaboration, the collaboration will delve into the potential opportunities arising in media and entertainment through the utilization of block blockchain technology and light issues like deepfakes and plagiarism within the realm of artificial intelligence. Uh, CDSA has switched into its focus on ensuring content security, authentic, authenticity, and protection. On that note, by the way, uh, um, if you if, if you see a Facebook Facebook page or Instagram page, it's not me. I'm not going to contact you in the comment section, uh, tell you to send me money or to give you an opportunity for something. Uh, it's not me. These are all fake accounts, uh, and it's not just in, in my ecosystem. It's also in all the other YouTubers uh, in the financial uh, area. So be careful with that. They're all scammers. Don't send anybody money. Don't connect your wallet to anywhere. Please be very very careful. Right. So by joining forces with Shiba Inu, they aim to uh, up its efforts in this regard, tapping into Shiba Inu's uh, expertise and insights. Satoshi Kusima, the lead developer behind Shiba Inu, highlighted the significance of bringing a blockchain-centric perspective to their endeavors. Uh, CDSA members are the biggest names in media entertainment, from the studios to key partner that are part of the global ecosystem. We look forward to providing a unique blockchain-first perspective to CDSA work uh, in helping media entertainment ex executives better utilize these initiative technologies, especially as blockchain and artificial intelligence converge. Now listen, if you're new to Shiba Inu and if you're new to the crypto market, Shiba Inu has a, a, a slew of these kind of partnerships. They usually don't really benefit Shiba Inu. Uh, I don't know, their benefit maybe the Shiba Inu team. <laughs> Uh, and they don't really benefit the price of Shiba Inu. One might say that, uh, you know, after all these partnerships, Shiba Inu uh, 4x, right, from around uh, eight, uh, 700 to 2800, right? But I don't think that was the reason why Shiba Inu moved. Uh, it moved more because money started buying uh, meme coins and, and Shiba Inu moved, right? Uh, you know, pre having. Um, so these kind of partnerships are, are cool, but do they actually affect the price of Shiba Inu? Historically, no. So don't get your hopes up too much about the price movement on these kinds of partnerships. Uh, yes, it's, it's news. It's something new for the Shiba Inu ecosystem. It, it's another tool. It's another exposure maybe to new potential Shiba Inu investors, right? But um, it's not going to, you know, make Shiba Inu, you know, go crazy, right? Um, you know, other news could, but this specifically, uh, I've seen historically when Shiba Inu does these partnerships with companies that we've never heard of before. <laughs> um, it doesn't move. Like if Shiba Inu partnered with, I don't know, McDonald's, then yeah, maybe we would see a movement, but it's not in this, this current situation. So it's, it's fine that they're making partnerships, but you know, at the end of the day, what moves the price of Shiba Inu? Buying pressure uh, and buying. 
why would people buy Shiba Inu? If there's an announcement that excites people, then they would, uh, you know, buy. If, if you've never heard of CDSA, you probably wouldn't be excited by that and it wouldn't really move your juices, right? Get your juices flowing. Um, so I've seen this before. It's okay. It's fine. Um, but we have to take that into consideration that currently what is going to move Shiba Inu and what's going to move the market is more uh, Bitcoin having related, more ecosystem related and not specific Shiba Inu. Um, that's just what I've seen historically happen. Once we kind of shake off all this having, uh, you know, dust, we'll see how we get out of it after, right? And that's going to be interesting. Okay. Don't forget to smash the like button. Check out the links in the description down below. Remember, this video was for entertainment purposes only. You should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. I'm not going to contact you. Remember, it's scammers, all that. <laughs> uh, check out the links in the description down below. Uh, they are affiliate links, so I'll get a commission if you do use my link. Uh, and I do have a Shiba Inu and a Bitcoin that we talked about in this video. So disclaimer. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.